Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Derek, and I like cars. If this is your first time stopping in, thanks for checking the channel out. I've got a few other videos posted up if you want to watch those, mostly just autocross. Um, yeah, let's get to it. So for starters, this is my car, 2015 Ford Fiesta ST. As far as mods go, so far I've got an FS Works cold air intake, resonator and muffler delete, I've got this access port V3, and that's about it so far. Yeah, everything else is just visual. It's got some stripes on it, lower grill delete, painted the wheels and brake calipers, uh, the mirrors are done white, and then there's the exhaust. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, you know, stickers. Stickers add five horsepower each. All right, let's uh, get in this beautiful thing and go for a drive. All right, temperatures are good to go, so let's go for a little drive. So I'll give a little bit of background on myself for the four people that are watching and care. Uh, my name is Derek Sanders. I'm 20 years old. I'm a parts driver for Larry Miller Subaru here in Boise. Uh, I'm originally from Las Vegas, Nevada. I uh, moved here a couple of months ago. Loving it so far. This is, uh, this is the first car I've ever had that's actually, like, quick. And it's really fun. Definitely recommend as an entry-level turbo car. Especially for the price you can get these for now. Now, uh, we just did a quick road trip to Mexico, so here's a little poll. You know, nearly 24 pounds of boost. Like I said, this thing is, uh, for the price, this is a little rocket ship. I love it. I do apologize for the quality of the video and the sound. Uh, I'm filming this on my LG G6 because I can't afford a camera because I spent all my money on a Ford. Yeah, like I said, this is my first video ever actually trying to film vlog style, so any suggestions, comments, uh, that'd be really helpful to me. You know, some advice from people who've actually done this more than I have. You know, leave a like or a dislike and some comments below. And uh, we are almost to our destination. There it is, there it is. Wonderful world of Walmart. Boy, Walmart is popping tonight. We're just gonna go ahead and park in the back because hashtag no ding squad. Uh, and because I need the exercise walking all the way up there. So now that we're out here under the beautiful glow of this extremely bright lighting, uh, give a little bit better walk around to the car. Sorry for the wind. Um, I don't think I mentioned earlier, these stripes, uh, from the camera, they actually look like they're okay. These are actually plasti-dipped. Um, I might get some hate in the comments for that, if there are any comments. Mirrors are also dipped. These stripes are dipped. And that lower bit is. The wheels and calipers are actually painted. Um, I had them dipped originally, and you couldn't keep it clean at all, so I decided to suck it up and paint them. Now, the eagle-eyed viewers out there may have noticed the nose. That's because it is nearly Christmas time, and for the first time, I decided to actually do the uh, super normie thing and dress up my car for Christmas. That is why we're out here at Le Mart de Wall. I have one antler. Um, I actually let my friend drive the car the other night and he made the mistake of rolling the window down. So we're out here to get a replacement. Come with me on this magical journey, won't you? Successful mission. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer car costume. Ten bucks. Back out to the wind machine. Got uh, some groceries for me and my parents who are coming to visit for the weekend for Christmas. Lines at Walmart were ridiculous as usual. And uh, 
I don't know where I parked. Oh, it's over there. There she is. Little blue wonder. So far, the worst feature of the Fiesta ST is the trunk space. There, there isn't any. And it's less now that I put a sub in it. But it, uh, it gets me by. That'll actually all fit in here. Most important thing is we did get the new set of Rudolph antlers. And uh, once I jump cut to being back in the garage, uh, I'll go ahead and be uh, doing a quick installation on those. And just like that, it all fits in there, more or less, with some convincing. You know, it only uh, sticks out a little bit. It's, it's fine. And now I parked the cart like a responsible adult, right in its lane. And now it's time to head home. For those of you that care, the sub setup is a 250 watt amp. It's a no name, I have no idea what it is. I got it for free. The sub is a 10 inch Rockford Fosgate P1 punch, sitting in a box of unknown origin because I got that whole setup for 30 bucks. And it's got a wiring kit I bought off my buddy. And it's also running this little bass controller purchased from Walmart. So, uh, Walmart coming in clutch so far on the vlog. Let's go hit some mad boost. Pulling back up to the neighborhood. I guess every year we do, uh, some neat Christmas decorations on all the entrances to the neighborhood. Then there is my incredibly unfestive house because I didn't feel like putting up decorations. Forgot actually I'm gonna back in because I have groceries. Ooh, lovely, lovely four cylinder noises. Yeah. All right, ready? We're gonna hit that uh, that lovely shut off noise. Oh yeah! And it is now time to unload all the groceries. You know, not that hard. Got a freezer out here in the garage, fridge and all that inside. I do a house tour at some point. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, depends if this ends up taking off and people like the content. Um, I'm not really expecting too much at the beginning. Uh, I know how hard it is to start out on YouTube, but I decided to follow every car YouTuber I watch as advice and start somewhere. Alright, and now for the moment everyone in the world has been waiting for. I'm going to put antlers on the ST. is isn't going to be the easiest thing in the world to film, but I am going to take some scissors, clip these little things off. I never have known what these are called, but uh, I'm going to try and do it without... Taking too much fur off the antler. Uh, stressful. How do how do car vloggers do this? I cannot film for anything. I'm gonna get the rest done and then cut back and it fell. All right, we got our first one freed. I know this is probably gonna be a very uh, very labor intensive job to install this wonderful quality product onto the ST and it might seem stressful to some people who are you know first time DIY but it's pretty simple what you do take that clip and you put it on so fresh looks fantastic perfect beautiful I love it let's go do the other side yeah now for this side you uh, repeat the same process from the driver's side and slide it. That one's uh, slightly bent forward, but you know, a trip on the highway will fix that. Quick walk around now that the uh, red nosed hatchback is complete. Let's be honest, people out there with modified cars that do this, you know, ironically, they put it on stuff like Beamers and Mustang and whatever. You know, it, it never looks as right as it does on just a little hatchback. Like, just a little egg of a car. Always looks cuter with this on it. 
Like I said earlier, I'm taking some inspiration from the car YouTubers I already watch. Street Speed 717 is a big one. Tradman. Occasionally Parker from Vehicle Virgins. I know everyone hates him, but I like his Lambo. I'm gonna do something else that they all do, and uh, I'm gonna clickbait the fuck out of this. So this is the best visual modification you can do to a Fiesta ST. Is it possible to get demonetized when you have 13 subscribers? Guess I'll find out. That's gonna do it for this upload though, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, like I said earlier, leave some feedback in the comments. Let me know what I can improve on and what you want to see on the channel. Stay tuned, because this weekend I've got some really exciting content coming up. I'm going back home to Las Vegas for the weekend, and you're going to see my other car. That, though, is to come. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Take care. Have a great night.